What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please understand this will not apply to every single Virgo, as every single Virgo is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Virgo energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for its most positive purpose. Spirit tell me to talk to you. So I will be talking to you guys with a few of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Virgo, I am talking to you. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. If this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, and let me know. Pickles. Off the break. <laughs> oh, every Virgo, I know. Honey, every Virgo, I know. And it's a good two of them. Y'all, pickles. Somebody is very health conscious. See, y'all thought, y'all thought I was going to say something else. No, <laughs> even though this might be so, drop a comment and let me know. Okay, Virgo, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Get serious. Get serious. Okay, so somebody, I feel like somebody could have a big package or somebody is very health conscious. Virgos tend to be very health conscious people at certain points in their lives. And I just get that with this. I get a cucumber. I get, it could be a mixture of health and sex. Okay. Hold on, Virgo. All right, Virgo. But you know what is so funny? I, I laugh at it now. The same Virgo hurt my heart. Really hurt my heart. Ugh, tore me apart. And I got over that shit. So glad I did. Oh, God, so glad I did. Y'all. So somebody is marrying you for the pickles. Somebody is marrying you because you have a big package. Okay. Yeah, they found, I feel like you found a pathway or maybe they did. And you put it in their slit is what I'm picking up. Um, you put it in their slit. Like he, the pickle, put it in her slit. And now it's like, now you don't, you had sex and sex, sex causes you to want marriage. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on a second. So you found this person and they gave you good sex, I feel like. They gave you good sex. But I feel like, I feel like the roles are in reverse. I feel like the roles are in reverse. Shh. The feminine might be more dominant and the masculine might be more like runner chaser. So whoever is running, the guy is running and the girl is chasing. I feel like she's more of the, I feel like the roles, I feel like if you were having sex with this person in the bedroom and you got a guy, a biological guy and a biological girl, the way it would look, that's in reverse. So the girl would look like the guy and the guy would look like the girl is kind of what I'm picking up. Engagement ring. Yeah, I feel like you want to marry this person or you're already married to this person. If you're all, for some of you, if you're married to this person, this person does it for you. Like this person really makes you happy. But if not, I feel like something about this person's vaginal area makes you want to marry them. Their vaginal area makes you want to marry them. 
Yep, they're looking at you, missing you, nostalgia, trying to make new memories with you. I feel like, hold on a second, y'all. One more time, one more time. All right. Now, somebody I feel like is watching videos or something of you. Somebody, I feel like somebody wants to marry you, Virgo. Somebody wants to marry you or maybe if somebody, if, if you're not already married to somebody that you like, somebody wants to marry you or somebody that you're sleeping with makes you want to marry them or they make you want to marry them. Something, something crazy like that. Let's see what we got. Seek joy in the pattern of every day. So I feel like Virgos, you all generally um, are very disciplined, very organized. You kind of have everything planned. Um, it says seek joy in the pattern of every day. So I feel like you enjoy doing the same thing every day. You probably enjoy, like, I feel like Virgos, you would enjoy having sex with a person in the bed every day. It's like, you would literally be okay having sex in the bed every day. It's like, we don't have to do it on the couch. We don't have to do it on the counter. We don't have to do it on the floor. You know, it's like, we don't really have to do any of that. We can just have sex in the bed but a difficult situation will come and go. So I feel like maybe you may want to try something else or something is going to be difficult, but then you'll get over it. You know what I'm saying? So um, something about the PP. That's a solid message for some of you, if not all of you. Um, we'll go ahead. This might correlate. It may not. Bottom of the deck. Oh, seven of swords. So somebody is planning. Somebody is being very strategic. Somebody around you is being, is, is, I feel like somebody around you is using their private part to get married. Somebody is wanting to get married solely from the private part. Like they're sneaking, they're trying to find a way to move in or to see if they can get that spot but they're going to have a very difficult time. I feel like somebody is 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 somebody is trying to marry you. Like somebody wants to marry you really really bad. I feel like because they don't feel like they'll get this sex anywhere else. So they're slowly but surely as hard as it is, they're coming towards you, but they're coming like very very slow. So whoever this is you're dealing with, it's like they're planning but maybe they don't really know how to come to you. So they're just slowly but surely going to try to figure it out along the way. I feel like somebody somebody has sex with you and now they are head over heels and want to marry you. But it's, it's like when you come to them, there's going to be conflict. So like somebody might want to marry you or you might want to marry them. And then when you present something, when you present the ring to them, it causes like an argument or like a conflict. Uh, I feel like it's like an argument. Yeah, and you're hoping, I feel like maybe you all have an argument about the marriage and then you're just kind of like hoping that things work out or maybe somebody said something or this. I feel like somebody says something about a marriage or it's like you're finding out that somebody is doing something somebody is doing something so that they could get married so that they can get a ring look at that knight of swords twice slowly but surely i feel like this person is trying to slide in slowly but surely this person is trying to plan they're planning on the penis planning on the penis They're planning on the penis, okay? See, and they're gonna communicate this to you. I feel like somebody is struggling with something and they're gonna communicate it or 
Yo, yeah, like somebody wants to be nurturing, somebody wants to be better, and they're going to communicate this to you. But I feel like from whatever happened in the conversation, it was just too much. There was an argument, and I feel like some words may have been exchanged. Maybe somebody said, I like you, but I never marry you. I can hear somebody saying that, like, I like you, but I never marry you. Like, I just... <laughs> I hear somebody saying that and it just starts a conflict. And then it's just like, oh, I'm happy about it or I'm hopeful. I don't know. If you don't, she better.